What you guys got another video on how to uninstall KB5063878 to save your SSD. Now, there's been quite a bit of drama on the internet about this particular Windows update. Some people are saying it's to do with the Windows update that is uh, killing SSD drives or hard drives. And some people are saying it's to do with the Fison uh, controller, the NAND controller on the actual NVMe drive itself. So who's to blame we don't know yet or whether it's a major widespread issue microsoft are saying that uh, the actual windows update is fine and they can't replicate the issue and also the fison uh, company have said also they've tested it and they're saying that there's no issues but for those who want to take precaution and uninstall the update i'll show you how to do it in this video first thing to do is pause windows updates for at least five weeks or longer just to make sure it just doesn't download again and install in the background we want to pause it because we don't know what's happening right now and we need to find out whether it's a, a windows update issue or whether it's an actual uh, drive issue so what we want to do here is we're going to take a look at the windows updates on your windows updates click on update history and then click on uninstall updates you'll see the update right here KB5063878. And from here, what you want to do is you're going to want to uh, go to the uninstall feature. But before you do any of this, it's always important to make a system restore point just in case something goes wrong because you are removing a key component from the operating system. And you never know, things can go wrong. So we're not going to go on the uninstall updates just yet. We're going to go to our system restore and create a system restore point now by default this is turned off so you will need to type in here restore in the search box up the top like so and you can click on create a restore point just like so this will open up the uh, system properties window here from the c drive we want to click configure and we want to turn on system uh, protection once we turn on the system protection we need to give it a maximum usage. I'm just going to say 3% here. That's around about 2.98 gigabytes of your drive space, which will be used for your system restore points. So let's go ahead and now create a system restore point. We're going to call this uninstall. And we're going to call this update because that's what we're going to do. So we're going to click create. And this will create a safety net for us when we remove this uh, update from our system. Now, like I've said before, some people have had no issues with this update whatsoever, and some people are a bit worried, and some people say they have had issues and it's killed their drive. All this information is freely available on the internet. I made a video about this yesterday. You can check out that video. There's other videos online from Jay's Two Cents and a bunch of other channels, so check theirs out as well if you want more information on this particular topic. All we're doing here is creating a safety net for ourselves to make sure our drive doesn't die. Now, before we uninstall this update, it's important to go to system and optional features. And you need to make sure that the Windows Sandbox is not checkmarked. If you are using Windows Sandbox, you will need to uncheck this and reboot the PC because you will get an error when you try to uninstall this update on your system. So make sure you uncheck the windows sandbox and reboot the pc i've already got mine unchecked so we're going to go ahead and hit windows update here from here we're going to come down to where it says update history and from here we're going to go to uninstall updates right here you're going to see our update that we want to uninstall so kb5063878 that is the version that we want to uninstall from our computer this apparently is the version of update that is causing a lot of problems, according to social media outlets and other websites. So you can see security update for Microsoft Windows KB5063878. Uninstalling updates may put your PC at risk. The reason why they're saying that is because of the risk of a security update that you're removing from your PC. But if this is a bad update, which we don't know 100% is true yet because more testing needs to be done and Microsoft are asking for that telemetry to be sent back so they can see whether it is an issue with this update. 
But in the meantime, if you do feel the need to remove it just to protect your drive, just in case it is an issue with the update, then by all means, you can uninstall it in the way I'm showing you right here. You can always reinstall this update uh, once we find out whether there's an issue with the Windows update or whether it's an issue with the Fizon uh, NAND controller. We just don't know right now. We don't know whether it's a widespread issue or whether it's just a, a small little glitch or a blip uh, with certain people's PCs. We just don't know because there's not a lot of information out there. It's just been a couple of people that have posted some stuff online. And of course, this has also spread like wildfire on social media, as you would expect, a bit of drama and everyone has jumped on board. But I'm just trying to give you the facts of what's actually happening and whether you want to protect yourself and uninstall this actual update. Because if it is true and it is actually killing drives, then it could end up killing your NVMe drive or your SSD or whatever has the Fison uh, NAND controller on it. And, it, it, you know, there's quite a few different drives out there that have that uh, particular controller on it and it can cause an issue. So what we're going to do is let this uninstall. It might take a bit of time, so be patient. If you're one of these people that don't believe any of this information is true and it's all fake news, then by all means, leave the update installed on your system and just get on with your day. So now we've up uninstalled the update, we can now restart our PC. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly restart the system. On the uh, restart, you're going to see it's going to remove a bunch of files. That's because we've uninstalled it and it will then boot back to the desktop. Now, I did make a video yesterday about this information. And of course, if it is true and it can actually damage your drive or kill your drive, then obviously it makes sense to uninstall and pause the updates for a while until we find out what is uh, true and what is not true. So we do have our updates paused. Once we find out all this information, you can see here in the update history, you can see the file name is still there. That's because that was part of the update history. But if we go to uninstall updates, you'll see that the update has now been removed from the system. So that's important. So it's not on the PC. So hopefully this will put your mind at rest that your drive is not going to suddenly die if it is true. So we can see here, we can now resume updates once we find out the information is either true or false. We can now resume our Windows updates once you find out the information that you need. And this will put the system back into a normal state and start downloading the Windows updates as normal. Now, for some strange reason, if your a file that you uninstalled doesn't come down the pipe to your PC for some reason, you can download it manually. I'm just running the Windows updates here. It's doing a check on my system. And hopefully once it's done its checks, it will then basically... Uh, give me the updates that we need for this PC. So I'm just going to let it do its check. And you should see the updates start to come down to the PC, like so. Now, if you don't see the update listed right here, then you can manually download the up update itself. And this will make the update uh, uninstallable, where sometimes when you download it via this method, it does disappear and the uninstall feature then removes. I'll show you that in a second. But let's go ahead and download the update manually by putting in the uh, name of the file, KB5063878. And you can download the right version. Make sure you're downloading the proper version, which is the x 64 base system. So download that. It has two download links here. So download both of these. And you can run these on your computer once they're downloaded. I'll quickly show you how that works. And then we'll reboot the system. And I'll also show you how you can uninstall this via command prompt. And I'll also show you some of the issues you might have further down the line, because some people have said that the uninstall feature has suddenly disappeared. I'll show you all that a little bit later on in the video. So let the downloads come down and we'll go ahead and install these. So the download has now finished. We can close these off and go to our downloads folder and we can basically click on these files to install them because they're standalone uh, files, which means they will install. So let's go ahead and expand this right here. And we're looking for the uh, 3878 version run right here. Click on this and it will go ahead and start to install. I'll speed this process up so you don't get bored. It will take a bit of time because it is quite a big uh, file to unpack and install, but you should see something looking like this. And when it's completed, it will then be finished and you'll be able to restart your PC and the update will be back on your system. So let me go ahead and show you that right here. We can now go to our settings panel, go to Windows Updates, 
and you can see there's some other updates coming down now let me just show you right here if we go to uninstall updates you will see the file has now been put back onto the system and there it is right there kb5063878 and we can still uninstall it because it was a standalone version now what i do want to show you is an issue that a lot of people are having and it's when you install this particular update right here once you install this update some people are saying the update that you're showing how to uninstall suddenly disappears and you can't uninstall it if that is the case, you might be able to uninstall it via command prompt. To do that, type CMD and run that as administrator and say yes to the user account control to open up the command prompt window. From there, you want to type out this command right here, WUSA space forward slash uninstall, like so. Just type that out right here and then do space forward slash and then put KB colon and the actual number in this case, it's 5063878, and that is the actual name of the file that we want to uninstall. Now, you could push enter at this stage, but if you do want to do a no restart, you can just put in here no restart, and we can push enter. And now you can see you sure you want to uninstall the uh, standalone installer. Now, if you in install the standalone installer, it will always give you that option to uninstall. But if you don't use the um, standalone installer and you're downloading it through the Windows Update program, you will end up losing the ability to uninstall that via the normal method. And you might only be able to do it via this method. So I've reset the virtual machine back. And I want to show you once you download this particular update, you lose the ability to uninstall the 506 uh, 3878 file. You can see I can uninstall it right here. But as soon as this Windows update comes down and installs and I restart this PC, what will happen is that file KB5063878 will suddenly disappear and you won't be able to uninstall it. Now, if you installed in it via the standalone method, you should be able to still uninstall that file. But let me let this download and install on the PC and I'll quickly reboot it and I'll show you the problem that a lot of people are having trying to uninstall this uh, actual file. Now, you might still be able to uninstall it via the command prompt, like I've said, but if you can't, then you might be stuck with it. So we're going to let this download and install on the system, and it's saying pending restart. So let's go ahead and restart the PC. And when we get back, you'll probably see that the KB5063878 uh, file will disappear from the list, and you won't be able to uninstall it. It won't be listed. So we're just going to let it do its thing right here and we'll let it get back to the desktop. Now, some people have said, what is your opinion? Do you think it's a Windows update issue or do you think it's the Fizon NAND controller and what would you do? I would personally uninstall it if I had one of those drives and I would pause the updates for a temporary period just until we find out whether uh, it is an issue or not because it's better to be safe than sorry rather than saying it can't be a Windows update because at the end of the day, we just don't know and you could end up causing yourself major problems and it could end up killing your drive if it is true. So it's better to err on the side of caution in my personal opinion. Anyway, with that being said, let's see right here when we go to uninstall updates, you can see it's disappeared. And this is a problem because if it's disappeared, it means it's not giving you the ability to uninstall it. And this is a problem that a lot of people are facing. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below whether you're facing this issue or whether you have had the ability to uninstall it, or whether you're one of these people that have run the updates and you do have an actual Fuzzon NAND controller on your system and it's not affected it in any way, shape or form. I'll be interested to read all your comments in the comments section down below because I think the more information we get on this, the better it is for everyone because there's so much misinformation out on the internet nowadays, it's hard to know what's true and what's fake news. Anyway, with that said, I think that is going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three, I really do appreciate the support. And I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Have a good day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.